Hello, and welcome back to AJM Learn. Today, I want to just show you how to do some cool image block hover effects. Um, just really fun, interactive ways, uh, kind of cool, surprising things when someone's scrolling down your site, they hover over a photo and something happens, can add to your branding and just kind of add to that like customization. So I like to add this stuff here and there. Um, one note, this is in the post, but a lot of these things won't work if you have an image block effect on so on the image design this image effect make sure it's set to none um, some of these will work if you have an image effect and some will not so just something to note okay i'm going to copy and paste directly from the reference um, post so let's get started um, add a drop shadow to a photo so i'm going to use my google extension as always to add, get my block id put that before the colon and now of course it's like no i really don't want to work today let's refresh i've been having to refresh a little bit lately with my css bam okay so if you don't see something immediately take like actually work definitely refresh that's kind of been a little bit of a glitch lately um and you can of course adjust your your box shadow i mean you can um you know change the color change you know all these numbers etc so you can play around with that but okay, shadow on hover, great. Um, next, zoom photo on hover. This one I actually use a lot. I think animation throughout an entire site can be, I'll just, by the way, grab the same block ID right here. Um, animation through a whole site feels very overwhelming to me um, and to I think a lot of viewers. So doing it just on hover is kind of a nice surprise without when you're scrolling and things are moving, that can be kind of distracting. So um, cool way to do this on hover. So done, nice zoom effect. Grayscale on hover. Um, I'm doing all these separately. I will, you can of course combine, you know, combine them. So now grayscale on hover, like for instance, you could just take this, you know, add it inside the brackets up here just to keep everything cleaner. But I'll show everything separately, but you can always combine CSS like that. Um, colored border on hover, but this is one where I made a note in the post. Some of them interfere with each other. So of course, if we're telling our photo to be grayscale on hover, it's not gonna show a colored border. So this one, a lot of times I have to refresh for as well. And cool, not working. Also, oh, cause I haven't put the block ID in. Uh -huh. Can't tell you how often I do that. And then now when you hover, you have this um, border, which is kind of cool. So again, you know, you can't show a colored border and also have the photo grayscale. So those do kind of conflict a little, which I've put a note in the post about. And then this last one is really fun. It's the most complex, but I do like to use this one. Kind of stinks because of course it doesn't work on, I mean, none of these work on mobile. So you don't want to put anything really important here, but it's a fun effect. So I'm actually going to get rid of all of this. This one in particular does interfere. Well, it interferes with a lot of the other ones. Um, so you can play around with how these can work together. But basically this one is replacing this photo. So let me grab the block ID. You'll put it in both places. So block ID here, block ID here. So it's basically saying replace this photo. So this hides the photo on hover. Hey, hide this photo when I hover, but show this photo. So the other thing you're gonna do that's the most, I guess, complex part of this is right here where it says image file here, get rid of that, but keep your cursor in between these two like parentheses click custom files you would add your image here just upload it i'm just going to use this headshot of myself i have floating around and now when you hover it's going to switch to the photo you chose so super cool again this will interact like interfere with some of the other ones in this post so definitely just play around with what actually works together what you want to do but this one's super cool and probably the one um I, like i use this one a lot just for i don't know a fun effect don't put any you know important information here you know you wouldn't want this hover effect to be like a card block where you're showing some text like important text because of course people on mobile won't get the effect but uh, okay lots of fun interactive stuff there hope that you enjoy using this